Daniel from Corvus, and this is just a quick update on the 220 display. I haven't mean to do this for a while. I've been so freaking busy that I haven't had time to even put the filter on this camera to take proper video. So excuse me for the bad coloring, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys what's going on. The new fish are doing great. I even added some blue linkias that are hanging on. There's one right there. Bubbles are doing awesome. The pallies are growing super fast. It seems like every day I notice a new head on there. Um, clownfish are still trying to lay eggs every day, but somehow they just keep disappearing or something happens. So I don't know if a starfish is getting to them or a crab or who knows what. Uh, let's see. The Euphilia garden is starting to grow. It looks really good from the back. Um, you guys can't see in this picture, but that blue Euphilia, the two face, the bicolor, is absolutely incredible in person. So I can't wait to show that off in proper lighting. But yeah, right now I've just been trying to balance out the tank, get the fish organize the inverts get my cleanup crew make sure it's a balanced ecosystem just so I don't have any issues um, but this tank has been you know just one of the many projects that I'm working on so I've been taking my time with it the sea apples are still cool everything looks good starfish is always creepy hanging out that brittle star he looks like he's always trying to catch some dinner so let's go around back and check out the other side. You can see how happy the affiliates look from this side. They're just blowing in the current. Same thing with the anemones. They keep moving around lately, so next time they detach themselves from a rock. I may remove them, but I guess I'll have to wait and see who they sting first and then how mad I get. <laughs> Depending on the price of the coral and how pretty it is, is how I determine who gets rid of what, when, and who gets to stay. But the Achilles has found his place on this side of the tank. He mostly hangs out around this rock, but he seems to be doing awesome. I've always wanted Achilles for so long, and now I finally have one. So. Sweet. Well, there you guys go. I just wanted to give you a quick update to show you the display. Everything is looking awesome. I still have to fine tune my flow. Since I've added and changed around some corals, it's um, messed up my flow a little bit. So I'm not 100% satisfied with it, but the fish seem to be doing a great job keeping the algae off the rocks. And haven't really had to do much to this tank. It's been running on autopilot. So I also added a really cool jawfish, which hopefully I'll get some video of him later. He's hiding um, under there, but every once in a while he'll shoot out to get some food. So there's that. And also update when I was cutting one of the rocks, I found another hitchhiker and this one is a mantis shrimp which is super cool he keeps coming out for food so i'll have to show you guys pictures of that later um, and everyone keeps asking where did i put the bobbit worm and the bobbit worm is in my refugium he's just chilling he's happy look at all this place he has to hide he's got a big deep sand bed and that actually goes below there even deeper it's hidden so there you go. Yeah, it's really hard to appreciate the corals without the filter. It's kind of like a tease. All you see is blue and different colors, but in person they are absolutely stunning. So, I promise I'll have a new filter for this camera pretty soon and you won't have to look at these terrible pictures but thanks for watching and as always happy racing